Hey everyone, uh, I posted a video earlier today, uh, and it, actually it was probably about an hour ago, uh, and it was about dating, and it really, it really hit my heart when it comes to how this uh, young man was explaining how dating is not talked about in the Bible, uh, and all of his points were good, and I thought they were solid, but one thing that I fear that he didn't follow up with at the end of his video was grace. There's no matter no matter what you've done, no matter what sin has been committed, it is all covered under God's grace through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not just covered. His blood doesn't just cover your sin. It completely wipes it away. Whether that was yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago, 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He has covered your sin. If you have confessed your sin to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and believed in your heart, confessed with your mouth that He is Lord and you are saved. Your sins are forgiven, past, present, and future. I want to, I just want to reiterate grace. I, I've been going through a tough week, actually a tough couple of weeks, and it's been tough. I mean, it's. I got to meet with a few people and some close friends of mine that, that have just showered encouragement and grace over the situation. They have prayed over the people involved. And I'm not going to divulge who, who is involved, but I know that regardless of what has happened to me or the people involved, they are covered. We are all covered by God's grace. And there's no shame here, only love. It says the, the most important commandments. The first one is love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength. And then the second commandment is love your neighbor as yourself. Oh man, and I'm, I, that's what I want to show. I want to show people grace the way I have been shown grace through Jesus. Not, my sins are not lesser than yours, your sins are not lesser than mine. It is equal. We are. We're all sinners covered in God's grace through Jesus Christ. We're all, we're all forgiven. So if you're, if you're, if you're dealing in this battle of shame, and you know the enemy is weighing you down with these thoughts of regret and whatever's going on, then know that Jesus loves you. God hears your prayers knows your heart. Even when you can't utter a prayer and ask for the Lord's forgiveness or ask for the Lord's grace or ask for the Lord to fill your heart with joy, if you can't do that, the Holy Spirit knows the groans of your soul. He knows the groans of your heart. Rest in that. Rest in the Holy Spirit. Rest in Jesus' arms. Don't rest in this world. Don't run back to sin. If you know it is a sin, if you know that there's something that's going to bring you further away from Jesus, then run from that. I have this saying, like, I don't understand whenever you know the right answer and you choose something else. Like, if you take the simplest analogy, I don't understand why people don't choose Jesus. I mean, I know why they do. It's because of the pride of their own heart. And while I, why I do the sins that I do is because of the pride of my own heart. I choose myself over choosing Jesus. But when it's so simple as if you're taking a test, uh, whether it be in high school or, or college or junior high, it doesn't matter, but if you're taking a test and it's multiple choice, and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the answer is C, why in the world would you choose A? And that's how simple it is when it comes to choosing Jesus. I know it's a hard decision because you have to give up a lot of worldly things, but it is that simple. It's not complex. But it doesn't matter what you've done. Grace covers all. It wipes off. Grace is receiving something we don't deserve. Mercy is not receiving something we do deserve. I hope this encourages you. And the song that I'm about to sing is something that has been an anthem on my heart for the last two weeks. And it's something I needed to be reminded of because of all the stuff that I've been going through when it comes to work and relationships. And yeah, it's, it's 
been a it's been a journey, but I know that through all these things, through the trials and the suffering, I've grown closer to the Lord. And I thank the people that are involved uh, when it comes to the relationships and uh, the friends and family that have been giving me advice and encouragement and you know the troubles that I've been having through all of it, through all the trials, I have found joy in the Lord. He has replenished my heart. He's filled my heart with joy. To know that I cannot do anything but trust in Jesus. I will trust you, Jesus. I will trust you, Jesus. I hope you guys enjoy that. And right now, I'm also going to an audition. So. The audition actually happens tomorrow at 11, so give me your prayers at that time. Thank you guys. Love y'all. So, we needed to start over because my GPS thought she'd be funny. Anyway, let's try it again.